Hey guys, Tonestar here. Just wanted to share a uh, couple of quick games that I had in my T34-3 and uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is, uh, we're playing on the map Redshire and this position, if you can get here quick, is a great spot. Now I do use a lot of gold rounds because this has 175 pen and I am attempting to pen uh, all the heavies and we're in a tier 9 game here. So um prob probably should have shot at the uh the what is that a t-34 behind but we didn't but we do get a nice shot on the is2 and you notice we've kind of frozen these guys out here and so i want to start working down individual tanks that i know that i can hit and so this is2 is stuck out caught out in the middle and i notice that i get hit but i'm fairly hold down here and so um, I do notice that there's a couple of guys in the back and we're picking up some spotting damage as well. But our force uh, is probably less than their force on this side of the map, but yet we've been able to really uh, freeze their team and keep them from coming out here. So so we're just trying to work our gun depression because we, we don't have any. And uh, we make a great trade there. 233 damage for uh, 391. We'll take that all day long. And uh, we're just, just working the ridge here. So it looks like that IS-2 has gotten brave. He has almost no hope of penning us, really, um, from his position, because our cupolas are very tough to hit. And, uh, and we've got gold loaded, so we can just go right through his turret. So, which is kind of a sad part of this game. So we're gonna snap. I, I didn't know if that guy had fired or not. It didn't look like he was aiming at me, so I just took a snap, and that's okay. We miss. Happens quite a bit. I noticed this light tank is coming around us, but that's okay. Um, and I'm too zoomed in. Now that's, that's an issue, you know. You don't wanna be too zoomed in when you're coming around a corner like that. Luckily, I didn't take damage, but that was a scrub move, and it kind of shows my inexperience. Another another bit of inexperience here is I, I end up getting hit by this uh, Roomba because um, I'm uh, getting a little bit too greedy. We're up to 1,700 damage already, and we're happy with that. So we take a shot and shoot right into the super the structure right in front of us and then take a hit from the Roomba so we're just gonna avoid him um, we're trying to get hull down and as, as you can see I'm trying to make my my gun depression work um, but I see that I'm gonna have an opportunity on the side turret of the WZ unfortunately that doesn't pin this thing is really best at short to medium range um, however, the whole armor is not very good, so you need friends because you need to pop out and fire and pull back. And the gun handling's bad. So it's currently 5-0. Um, we're doing fairly well. We're happy with, with uh, our damage so far. And so we're just trying to come up here and light stuff. That's really all we're going for. So this light tank gets away before I have have a shot and then uh, at range you can see the, the the gun is I don't know I think it's got 0.4 accuracy or something standard but we're getting some spotting here and we take our time and aim that in it's currently 8 to 1 things are going well they do have a light tank over there um, but he's got his own problems it looks like so I'm going to crest this hill and try and get a shot on the, the Roomba. Maybe a little payback here. So, And I should have aimed that a little more. We do track him, so we'll get some track damage there. Maybe. Maybe not. Looks like he re maybe repaired. So we, we've got 1,800 damage, 3 kills, and a uh, 763 uh, assist so so now it's just push in you know it's 12 to 3 right so this is uh, I aim as much as I dare and uh, 
before he gets out of sight and we're able to pick up another shot of damage so pretty happy with that people do not play well with this thing because the gun handling is really bad it's got low pin and uh, and it's just it's not that great of a tank but I like it it's got no gun depression there's certain maps and certain spots I like to go and if I can get there I am uh, very formidable so we light up this uh, this artillery we're able to take him out and that's the end of the game so let's go ahead and uh, go to the next replay I'm not gonna really show end results on this because it it's only first classes okay here we are on Corellia we're top tier in a 357 let's go ahead and get this started we did spot a Cromwell coming through I was thinking about going over to the right but the problem is, is there's three artilleries and so um, I do not want this Cromwell to get into a position where he can where he can, he's hold down and and possibly uh, already safe and so we do eat a shot from a charioteer I'll see that charioteer later but uh, normally I don't go to this side but there's an Oho and we have a Tiger 2 and generally a Tiger 2 is not going to do well against an Oho so the uh, Cromwell got a little too ambitious so it looks like um, we're just trying to maybe get some vision out to the middle. We know there's a Hellcat out there. And uh, this thing isn't the greatest sniper. But then I noticed the Oho is on the other side along with the Tiger P. So I know that this side is going to be fairly clear. And uh, we're just looking for free shots, basically. And as you can see, this thing it just does not. Well, I think that shot a little bit behind him, possibly. But... Uh, this thing is is not very accurate either and a lot of times I use heat at range because it does not lose uh, any um, penetration at range and plus because the gun's so inaccurate it's not like you can hit weak spots with this thing so I faff around a little bit here and I really I really shouldn't have um, there's three arties and I'm hoping they're in that the corner up there to where I'm already safe usually they sit right behind the flag and so and that that right there shows you the accuracy of the thing I mean I'm a hundred meters away and sure I snap a little bit but doggone man how can I miss that shot so I don't want to take a hit and I definitely don't want to get already and I'm perma spotted here right so I decide to take a chance and try and get out of dodge. So we do, we are getting some assist, but I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, so we're we're gonna kind of come back around to the other side and see what we can do. So if you get on the other side of this big rock, uh, then you're fairly arty safe. Um, and then there's also a rock right right here that. You be already safe at so we're just trying to work our way to get shots at this panther without taking damage and you notice I've got to turn my hull and kind of aim down the hill in order for that to happen and this is a risky move okay it is a risky move but we've got a panther too in the wide open and I just really don't want him to be able to keep people lit and we've already lost the other side, um, which is not unusual because they got a Oho and a and a T29 and the KV-13 isn't that big of a deal. So I know I'm probably going to take a hit, um, but it's worth shooting that Panther, and we're able to pick up the kill. And we do take take a hit from a KV-85 that's camp and spawn. Um, not that I necessarily blame him in this matchup. And he is still... Look how far I am down the hill and I'm able to pull back up. So that was my lack of map awareness there. So we've got heat loaded and I, I loaded heat specifically for that Oho. 
So that Oho, when he gets out in the middle, in the wide open, is just dead. And we do we do hit land that shot for 400 damage because uh, I looked in the after action report. Um, but uh, we've got to whittle that Oho down before he gets into our base. And I decide at this point that I need to go back because that Oho is a problem for my team. And I... Um, even though my gun handling sucks, as long as I can kind of hit him in the general area I want, I, maybe I can stay hull down and tank him. That's the idea. Either tank his shot or, or cause him to miss. Or, <clears throat> or if I can get up beside him, then there's really nothing he can do because my, my tank's so low profile. In the meantime, this T-29 shows up. And... Uh, and so I'm just spotting him because there's still two artilleries alive, right? And our artillery has a vested interest in slowing these guys down. They both miss. Even though I hate artillery, if it's in the game, I'm going to use my artillery to, to my advantage. Because you need to. And it looks like the Jagdpanther it has him spotted and... We're able to pick up the kill just by being patient, kind of coming around the other side. So what I'm worried about right now is that Oho. I'm lit, and I don't want him to derp me in the face, because he could one-shot me fairly easily if he hits my hole. So, so we're just trying to come up and find him. That's all we really want to do. And we've still got heat loaded because he has a lot of armor. And this is a dangerous poke, but he has not yet spotted me. And uh, we get lucky because he snapshots on the move and doesn't do a lot of damage to me. So I knew he had a long reload, so I was kind of waiting for him. And that charioteer is behind me, and uh, he messaged me after the game, and he said, Oh... That shot lost us the game, which is probably true. Um, I get lucky with him tracking me, so he played well. I'm looking for a shot on that charioteer because I uh, feel like he's the biggest threat right now, and we're able to take him out for a kill number four. So we've got 2,100 damage. We've got 1,300 assist, and at this point, I've got 92 health. So. If I can get a free shot on this tiger, I'll take it. And we get really lucky and we set him on fire. And I'm looking at where the KV-85 is and trying to figure out what I want to do now. Because the game is well in hand now. It's, it's 11 to 8, but I've got 92 health. So we're switching back to standard rounds now. <laughs> and I... Or KV2, I thought he was going to die there, but uh, nevertheless, he's he's made it. So I'm thinking uh, I probably have more view range than this KV85, and as long as I use bushes and the terrain, I should <clears throat> be able to spot him before he spots me. Even though I've only got, I don't know, 420 meters view range, something like that. Plus, we haven't been on this uh, west northwest side of the map for a while, so there may be something coming this way, so I would like to spot it. So you can see that I'm trying to use bushes and cover to try and make sure that I do not get spotted. So, so if I do get spotted from base, I can always come up to the, the, the rock right here, right in this area and be safe from both the KV-85 and the uh, RD. So, so we're just sitting here kind of being a little bit patient. And I decide that at this point, I'm really, I'm really watching where that KV-85 might be. And uh, I'm going to dive into this ditch down here. And I'm waiting for that KV-2 to light, light something. And he hasn't lit anything, so to me, probably the KV-85 left. 
but as as a one shot you need to be playing slow so that's what we're doing so at the same time I'm watching my team and I see the Yag Panther is coming up I'm assuming he's gonna light already but I do not want to push until I know for a fact that that uh, that KV 85 is no longer in position which he's not he's somewhere else looks like he's on near the flag so one thing about uh, you know the KV 85 is has played very very defensively and I understand he's a bottom tier tank but I, I feel like he should have stayed and put out some vision for his arty that's my opinion and I'm afraid that our Yag Panther is going to die to these Arties. And I'm uh, I'm pointed at the the uh, T43 because I'm pretty sure he's going to come back. So what I'm doing is using terrain to where if he does come back, I've I've got a shot, or I I can there well, I can spot him without really taking a lot of damage. And these Arties. Are very focused on this J Yag Panther, so we're able to take one out. Looks like the old other one is taken out by uh, our Yag Panther, and so we 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 do our best to side scrape, and we're able to pick up that kill. So we ended up with uh, 3,100 damage, but in reality, I hit that Oho blind, so that was 3,500 damage plus about 1500 assists so that's 5000 combined and that was only a first class and that's probably because I wasn't spotting a lot of my own targets uh, but I hope you enjoyed this um, I'm gonna kinda leave it at that uh, because I don't want to make this video too long so there won't be any after-action reports we will catch you next time